the simplest and truest way to introduce myself is with the books, uh, words from the book of Genesis. I'm Joseph, your brother. I'm Joseph, your brother, as a child of God. I'm Joseph, your brother, whose heart has been broken by the inhumanity that is increasingly enshrined in our nation. I'm Joseph, your brother, who wants it to end now. Yes. Today I stand in solidarity with my brothers and sisters in Christ to decry the treatment of children who bear the trauma wrought by immigration, enforcement raids, separation from their families, and indeterminate detention. These draconian measures are not, they are not a solution to our broken immigration system. They are violations of human dignity and are contrary to all religious teachings and the sacred call to care for our most vulnerable populations. Unlike others, we don't have to look up Bible verses to justify the building of walls. There are none. Instead, we look to the first Psalm at verse 27, who says, children are always a blessing. Children must always be protected. So-called deterrence policies do not address the underlying causes of irregular immigration, migration, which are much stronger than any deterrent can ever address. I am proud to be the grandson of immigrants and raised in a multicultural neighborhood in southwest Detroit. I'm an American and understand the federal government should continue a prudent policy aimed at protecting its citizens with safe borders. I am a Catholic priest and a bishop. I understand that we must heed the call of God who told Moses through the people of Israel, you shall not oppress the alien. You will know how it feels to be an alien since you were once aliens yourself in the land of Egypt. I'm a pastor. We have to look mothers and fathers in the eye, recognize their tears, and hear them say over and over, when I kiss my children goodbye in the morning, I don't know if I'll be there for them tonight. Children are not to be separated from their families, incarcerated in their own filth, denied proper medical care, and permitted to die from neglect. Here in Newark, Catholic charities, assisted by the parishes and parishioners of this great archdiocese, has helped refugees from Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, the Democratic Republic of Congo to resettle, comply with the stringent requirements of the vetting process that is coordinated by the Department of Homeland Security. It's no accident that the recent immigration quotas and refugee quotas were first to eliminate the Archdiocese of Newark. We hope to continue to welcome others who seek to better their lives. I ask Catholics and others of goodwill to contact their local, state, and federal elected officials and urge them not to manipulate families as political pawns. As a nation, we must come together for immigration reform, which defends the family, protects human dignity, and enshrines the sacredness of life. The Apostle John says, whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love is truly of God is truly perfected in her. And what is the word of Christ? For I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was imprisoned, and you visited me. My brothers and sisters, that is the word of Christ. And if we paraphrase it in a different way today, stop the inhumanity. 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 Dios los bendiga. Gracias. Gracias, Padre. Gracias.